on Friday's show and a helped Simon to a big win. Victorious headhunter Simon left the show with £5,000. Anna returned to the talent pool after pocketing £1,800 and is joined by 10 new recruits. As the competition heats up, who's got what it takes to win big? The quiz show that puts a price on knowledge. Today's three headhunters are retired police officer Andrew, facilities manager Victoria, and sports lecturer Stuart. Earlier, they earned their headhunter positions by answering three qualifying questions correctly. But have they got what it takes to win today's jackpot, which has been reset to a thousand pounds after last week's big win, or will they need some help from the talent board? Andrew, Victoria and Stuart, you are today's headhunters. Um, Andrew, back again? Yeah. Fifth time? Yeah, like my football team, perennial losers. I need to win some money, Rob. You do, don't you? Fifth time's a headhunter. You've been a candidate a number of times, still yeah. no money. Yeah. Um, so are you looking to go it alone or bring in some of the new guys? I found out you're not going to win anything on your own. Um, some new nice subjects come up. Depends on what the board is. Yeah. Good luck, Andrew. Thank you very much. Uh, Victoria, ninth time as a headhunter in 15 shows. Yeah. It's got to be today. I hope so. Are you feeling the pressure a little bit? You've been up there a lot. It all depends on the board and it's how you play the rounds when you start throwing rounds at each other in the head-to-head. -head. I think yeah. it's how that pans out depends on whether you get through to the final in the first place. Yeah, well, there's people out there now, though, you don't know their strengths and weaknesses yet, so it does yeah. add an extra layer of gameplay. Yeah. Well, good luck, Victoria. Thank and you. Stuart. Hiya. Hello, mate. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, where are you from? What do you do, Stuart? Uh, from just near Hull, and I'm a sports lecturer. So a sports lecturer, sort of like ultimate PE teacher. Absolute top level. You can't go any higher, like the Pope. <laughs> the Pope of education within sports, you know. Yes. I'm all over that. Anything okay. else? Mm, going to need some help. What would you spend the money on if you won, Stuart? Without being too ambitious, uh, a vintage Brazil shirt is my lowest. And if he went big money? Big uh, family holiday to Disneyland. Oh, classic. OK. Good luck, Stuart. Thank you. You guys are all now in competition. Today's categories are... Cricket, mythology, chart music, international cuisine, TV drama, human anatomy, fashion, technology and royalty. These categories will remain the same until the very end of the show and you'll have to answer a question correctly from every single one of them to win the cash prize. OK, you a big cricket fan, Andrew? Yeah, love that. Fashion, is that one of your strongest? Not on a personal level, <laughs> just knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Well, not from what I'm wearing. I quite like it, it looks quite nautical. You look cool, you look relaxed, but in control. Might need Yasmin down for human anatomy. Yasmin and human anatomy will help, she's a retired GP. Victoria, cricket fan? Uh, I watch a little bit of cricket. A little bit, OK. Yeah, not a lot. I eat food, wear clothes, and I work for a tech company, so I'm hoping that that's an OK board. OK, looks pretty <laughs> strong for you, then. Um, Stuart, cricket's up there, obviously, for you. You happy with that? Yep. Um, anything you're struggling with? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. International cuisine? Yep. Yeah, struggling with that? Yep. Technology worries me a little bit, cos I aren't responsible for it in our house, so... Oh, you aren't I, responsible I, I allowed for it? I allowed anywhere near it, so... Um, OK, well, it looks like you might have to build a team, Stuart. So that's how the headhunters feel about the categories. Now it's time for them to test the talent pool to see if it's worth paying anyone to help them win the show. <laughs> talent pool, time for a question. Whoever gets it right in the fastest time will become the headhunters' first candidate today. Here are the answers. A, the miniaturist. B, the book thief. C, the kite runner. And D, the alchemist. And here's the question. How is the character Liesl Meminger described in the title of a 2005 novel by Marcus Zusak? The correct answer is... B, the book thief. And the fastest to give the right answer was... Anna! Congratulations, well done. You are today's first candidate. Please step forward. OK, Anna. Um, congratulations, you're the candidate today, and you've been very successful as a candidate. I'd argue the MVP so far. How much prize money have you taken so far? Six thousand three hundred. Oh, six thousand three hundred with two victories as a candidate. Two victories, yeah. So fingers crossed, you can do it again. How are you feeling? Um, not loving the board actually. Okay. This one, out of all the ones that have been so far. Really, what's worrying you up there? 
I mean, nothing's worrying me. I'm just not, none of them are like leaping out at me. Possibly royalty, but other than that. But it's not your favourite. No. Okay. Well, good luck, Anna. Before we get to the headhunters' offers, you have the chance to impress them with your knowledge and get a few more quid for the prize fund. Each category will feature an easy, medium and hard question worth £50, £100 and £150. Andrew, as the first headhunter to qualify, you get to pick first. Um, I'm going to test Anna's royalty knowledge, please. OK, here we go, Anna. Okay. Royalty, here are your questions on royalty. What nickname was famously given to...? Elizabeth II by her family. I think that's Lilibet. Is it Lilibet? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Sounds like a rapper. I'm a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> OK, for 100, what nickname was famously given to? Yeah. Edward VII by close friends and family. Um, I really don't know at all. So hopefully, one of the others will be able to. OK. Them. But so I'm going to go for Ed. Ed, why not? Yep. Was it Ed? It was not Ed. Headhunters? Andrew? Is it Teddy, Rob? Is it Teddy? Oh. Incorrect. The correct answer? Yeah. Bertie. Little Bertie. Who knew? <sighs> None of us. <laughs> For 150, what nickname was famously given to? Yeah. Victoria, due to her friendship with her Prime Minister. I mean, she had quite a few Prime Ministers. That doesn't really narrow it down. I can't think of anything. No? I'm afraid, sorry. OK, pass. Headhunters. Random guess. Mrs Disraeli? Mrs Disraeli. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm afraid. The correct answer? No. Mrs it's Melbourne. Ooh. Not too far off. Got the first bit right. Yeah. <laughs> so, £50 added to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Victoria, you're up next. Which category would you like Anna to play? OK. Technology? Technology. In computing, what phrase is represented by the abbreviation... Yeah. ..GIF? I'm going to take a guess at... ..graphic interface. Is it graphic interface? <laughs> it's wrong. Headhunters? With the help of Van, I'm going to have a guess at graphic interface film. OK. Is it graphic interface film? It's wrong. It stands for? Yeah. Graphics Interchange Formats. We're all learning. Um, no score there. Um, for 100 in computing, what phrase is represented by the abbreviation? Yeah. PNG. I got nothing, I'm afraid. Sorry, I'm going to have to okay. pass. OK. Uh, pass on that one. Headhunters. No idea. No. No? The correct answer is? Yeah. Portable Network Graphics. OK, now for 150. In computing, what phrase is represented by the abbreviation? Yeah. JPEG. Oh. I've got nothing, I'm sorry. Got no worries. Pass again. Pass. Headhunters. No, no idea, sorry. A pass from the headhunters. The correct answer is? Yeah. Joint Photographic Experts Group. <laughs> Seems unnecessary, doesn't it, for a picture? <laughs> <laughs> so, no money added to the bank there, I'm afraid. Stuart, which category would you like to pick? Um, fashion, please. Fashion? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Held your nose and breathed out there. That was... <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You've just come out from snorkelling. I know. <laughs> OK, here we go. Here are your questions on fashion. In which city is the original campus of the leading fashion school? Yeah. Central St Martins. That's in London. Is it London for £50? <laughs> Correct, yes, £50. <laughs> for 100, in which city is the original campus of the leading fashion school? Yeah. Esmod. Um, Amsterdam. Is it Amsterdam? <laughs> it's not Headhunters. Victoria? Guess Barcelona. Is it Barcelona? Incorrect. The correct answer? No. Paris. OK, for 150, in which city is the original campus of the leading fashion school? No. LIM College. Um, I have no idea, so I'm going to guess New York. Is it New York for £150? 
Yes, well done. £200 added to the pot. Well done, Anna. Headhunters, after that round, today's jackpot stands at £1,250. <laughs> you can now decide how much of your money you'd offer Anna to join your team. Anna, you have ten seconds to sell yourself. What are you worth and why? Um, I mean, that was a bit of a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> a few categories for me, but I've shown in the past that my general knowledge is pretty, pretty broad and uh, I could bring a lot to your team. So, you know, I think I'm worth a few quid. OK. Headhunters, are two heads better than one? It's now time for you to make your bids for Anna. Andrew, what would you like to offer Anna? This is in my opening salvo. You know I am very, very tight. However, however, I do know Anna is an excellent player and I've given her £250 is what she put in at this stage. OK. Victoria, what would you like to offer? Um, I think Anna and I would make a really good team, uh, so I've gone for 150% of what you put in and 375 OK. Stuart? I'm really sorry you won't choose me. I have no frame of reference. <laughs> £150. OK. No worries. Well, that's, it's not too far off. Only £100 less than, um, than Andrew. You will get a second chance to bid as well. Um, don't decide just yet which offer to take, Anna, because here are some vital stats on the headhunters. Before the show, you all took a 100-question general knowledge test. So let's find out how the headhunters did. So Andrew scored... 62%. Victoria scored... 68%. And new boy Stuart scored... 72%. Oh. Very strong. <laughs> Is you the right one? Maybe uh, Stuart's playing down his knowledge. Mm. Who knows? OK, so, Anna, you've seen the offers and the stats. Who are you thinking about joining and why? Um, all pretty fair offers. Stuart, you've got an amazing score, but I don't know what, what, what you know and whether we would compliment each other or not, so it's quite difficult to to gauge, so I don't know. OK, well... See what the final offers are. Headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You have one final chance to make Anna a counter-offer. What are you willing to do to close this deal? Please place your final bids for Anna. Let's reveal your final bids. OK, so they've all gone up. Some great offers up there. I think Anna is an expert player, and my strengths are television, film, sport, and Anna's strengths are everywhere, really, isn't it? Let's be truthful. Victoria? Um, I'd like to offer you more than that, but obviously with the pot the size it is. But I think, yeah, I think we'd make a good team. Stuart? It's 350. Yeah, I, I don't tell a lot and I'm still learning. You're clearly worth more than <laughs> that. I'm really sorry. Anna, who do you think you're going to join and why? It's a tough decision. On the basis that we've done... We've come really close to winning a couple of times before, I'm going to go with Victoria. OK, well done, Anna. You've agreed to team up with Victoria for £400. Go and join your headhunter. <laughs> Back to the talent pool. The person who answers this question quickest will become our next candidate. Here are the answers. A bad romance. B, bad guy, C, bad medicine, and D, bad girls. Here's the question. What is the title of the 2019 UK Top Ten single by Billie Eilish? We can reveal the correct answer. B, bad guy. So a few of you got that right. The fastest was... Aaron! Well done, congratulations, mate. You are today's second candidate. Well done, Aaron. Congratulations. Welcome to the show. Thanks uh, for having me. Um, where are you from? What do you do, Aaron? I'm um, from North London, Edmonton, and I work at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> are you a Tottenham fan as well? Um, you've got to say yes if you work there. Uh, not exactly. Who do you support? I'd rather not say, cos it's the opposite. <laughs> You're an Arsenal fan? I'm a gunner. Yes, I love it. Round of applause <laughs> for the actual legend standing there. <laughs> Um, how are you feeling about the uh, the ball today, Aaron? 
Um, yeah, I don't like it, but I think I'm all right with mythology. Yeah. And I used to study drama. International cuisine, you into your food? I'm into my food, but like, uh, I mostly just put it in my mouth. I don't put it in my brain, so. Okay. What would you do with the money if you won? Maybe a loft conversion, because right now I have the smallest room in my parents' house. So you're going to convert the loft conversion for your parents for you to live in? Yeah. Are they okay with this? Are they up for this? Well, they're going to find out when they see the show. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> but when you want to save it as a deposit or to get your own place rented? I didn't think of that, to be honest. No. <laughs> that, that was, that's, that's quite smart. Yeah, I mean, that's probably better than building a new room in your mum and dad's house, but yeah. fair enough. It's a nice thing to do for them, though. Yeah. Well, Aaron, you are going to play three categories chosen by the headhunters. Andrew, what would you like Aaron to play? I'm liking Aaron. Yeah? Yeah. He's a young guy, so yeah. have a crack at technology, please. I don't think he's going to like me after I start answering him. Young people know technology. That's the basis you're going off on. Absolutely. Are you on Snapchat? Who? Yep, <laughs> Forza. <laughs> <laughs> OK, which European country uses the top-level internet domain? Yeah. .fr. I'm, well, I'm hoping France. OK, is it France? Yes, it is. <laughs> 50 pounds, well done. For 100, which European country uses the top-level internet domain? Yeah. .de. I'm going to go with Denmark. OK, is it Denmark? <laughs> Incorrect. Headhunters. Germany? Is it Germany? <laughs> yes, it is. For 100 pounds, Deutschland. For 150, Aaron, which European country uses the top level internet domain? Yeah. .ch. I guess I'll just go for a guess and say. Portugal. Portugal. Wait, is that even in Europe? Is it Portugal? <laughs> Incorrect. Headhunters. <laughs> yes, Victoria. It's Switzerland. Is it Switzerland? <laughs> yes, it is. Well played. Good jumping in. Well done, guys. Brilliant round. Together, £300 to the pot. Well played. <laughs> Victoria, you're up next. What would you like? Anything, really. Except for cricket and fashion. Yeah, what do you think you do best at, Aaron? What's your... Mythology? Mythology. OK, yeah, mythology. Here we go. Mythology. <laughs> Who is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god yeah. Poseidon? Say, uh. Mars? Is it Mars? <laughs> Incorrect, I'm afraid. Headhunters. <laughs> yes. Neptune. Is it Neptune? <laughs> yes, it is. Well played. For 100, who is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god? Yeah. Eros. I thought that was a club, honestly. <laughs> like... Well, Neptune's definitely a fish bar near me. Yeah. <laughs> Venus? Is it Venus? That's wrong, I'm afraid. Headhunters. <laughs> yes. Cupid? Cupid. Is it Cupid? <laughs> yes, well done. £100. <laughs> For 150, Aaron, who is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god? Yeah. Hephaestus. Sounds like something when someone sneezes. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I have no clue. Well, you can pass and then headhunters can jump in if you... If oh, you can pass. Yep, a pass. <laughs> headhunters. Is yes, it Victoria. Vulcan? Is it Vulcan? For 150. Well played. Great jumping in there. 300 pounds added to the pot. Congratulations. Well done. OK. Stuart, you're up last. Um, which category? Chart music. Chart music, Aaron. Here we go. Your three questions. Which act had a UK number one with the single yeah. Red Red Wine? UB40. OK. Is it UB40 for 50 pounds? <laughs> yes, it is. Well played, Aaron. For 100, which act had a UK number one with the single yeah. Green, Green, Grass of Home? Can I pass on that? Yep, yeah. well, yeah, no worries, we can pass. Headhunters. Tom Jones. Is it Tom Jones? <laughs> yes, it is. For £100, well done. <laughs> for £150, which act had a UK number one with the single yeah. Welcome to the Black Parade? Panic at the Disco. Is it Panic at the Disco? <laughs> Incorrect. Headhunters. Is it My Chemical Romance? Is it My Chemical Romance? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> it was on the right lines. 
OK, well done. £300 added to the pop. Headhunters, after that round today, jackpot now stands at 2150 You can now decide how much money you'd like to spend on Aaron to join your team. Aaron, you have ten seconds to sell yourself. What do you think you're worth and why? I know quite a few general knowledge things. Like, I'll surprise you with, like, how deceptively smart I am, cos I feel like right now I look pretty dumb. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I mean, can't, I can't sway you anymore, so I just, like, do what you want, innit? Fair enough. OK. Headhunters, it's time to make Aaron an offer. OK. Andrew, what would you like to offer Aaron? I've offered uh, Aaron what I offered Anna on my first one, 250. But obviously, the pot's growing. There is more scope on that. OK. Victoria? Uh, I've started at 150, because it's 150% uh, of what you put in, which is what I offered Anna. OK. Stuart? <laughs> I'm all over the place with this. I've offered you 410, because I think we can be new guys together. OK. Before we decide which offer to take, here is the previous candidate, Anna's general knowledge score. 85%. OK, so you've seen the offers and you've seen the stats. Is there anyone you're leaning towards, Aaron? Um, well, obviously, Anna's team, cos... Anna seems really smart. But, like, now I feel And, and Victoria. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Victoria. <laughs> now I seem just kind of swayed to go with, like, Andrew Stewart. It's just, like, go against the man, innit? Headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You all have one final chance to make Aaron a counter offer to bag him for your team. Here we go. Headhunters, please reveal your final bids. Okay, Stuart, bang the extra fiver on. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Well, yeah. um, a big offer there from Andrew, up to five hundred and fifty pounds. That's a big offer considering the size of the pot. Um, and then an extra hundred from Victoria's team. Aaron, who are you going to join? I feel kind of swayed to go Stuart in it because we're the new guys, isn't it? All right, right. sticking together exactly. with the new guys, even though the offer's lower. Yeah. You're going with Stuart. Congratulations, you've accepted Stuart's offer of £415. Go and join your headhunter. <laughs> Fan and Paul, you'll now face a final qualifier for the last chance to join a headhunter today. Here are the four answers. A, Annabelle, B, Bianca, C, Claire and D, Delilah. And here's the question. What is the name of the alter ego of the English artist Grayson Perry? The correct answer is... C. Claire. And the fastest was... Jenny! Congratulations! <laughs> Please step forward to our today's final candidate. Well done, Jenny. Where are you from, Jenny, and what do you do? Uh, I'm an English teacher from Chichester. How are you feeling about this? What's, is it nerve-wracking? You feel nervous? A little bit nerve-wracking, yeah. Still not entirely sure what I'm doing, but... What do you spend the money on, Jenny? Um, I want to pay for some more uh, modules for my Masters. I need to do five more modules, and then I can start on my doctorate. And then what would you be called? Dr Block. <laughs> Dr <laughs> Block? <a> toilet cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Dr Block. <laughs> We're in stores now. <laughs> I apologise now, but I will say that. No, it's fine. Is that OK? Is that yeah, it's different? irritating, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, um, let's have a look at the board. What's uh, jumping out at you? So, I think chart music, drama, cuisine and fashion would be my stronger ones. OK. Um, not a chance in hell with cricket. Human anatomy is what I can remember from episodes of ER, so... <laughs> OK, fair enough. <laughs> um, well, good luck and welcome to the show. Headhunters, what do you think Jenny might be able to help you with? Andrew, here we go. You've got cricket covered. Yeah, yeah. She looks a clever girl, Jenny, from what she says. I'm, I'm going to try your fashion knowledge, please. Okay. Fashion knowledge. Okay, here we go. What item of clothing has a style called winkle picker? Shoes. Is it shoes? Yes, it is shoes. <laughs> For a hundred, what item of clothing has a style called Homburg? I haven't the foggiest. I'm going to go. Trousers. Is it the old Omberg trouser? Let's find out. Trousers. <laughs> Incorrect. Headhunters. <laughs> yes. It might be a hat. Is it a hat? The Homburg. <laughs> yes, it's a hat. <laughs> well done. For 150, what item of clothing has a style called 
reefer. Is it a jacket? Is it a jacket? Yes, well done. <laughs> a reefer jacket. <laughs> well done, guys. Between you, three hundred pounds added to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Victoria. Vix. Can I call you Vix now? Yeah, please do. TV drama, please. TV drama. You into your telly? A little bit, yeah. ER? Yeah. Mainly ER. Mainly ER. <laughs> OK. And um, what did you do when it stopped? Did you move on to something else? Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> That's it, just those two. <laughs> just medical drama. Just medical drama. Through. That's all you want. OK, three questions on TV drama. Which actor plays the fictional doctor? <laughs> 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 Pressure's on. <laughs> Doug Ross in ER. Uh, it's George Clooney. Is it George Clooney? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> £150. £100. Which actor plays a fictional doctor? <laughs> 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 Christina Yang in Grey's Anatomy. Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O? Oh? Yeah. Is it Sandra O? Oh? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Now, for 150, which actor plays a fictional doctor? Yeah. Remy 13 Hadley in House. You ever seen House? It's one I haven't watched. Oh, next on the list. Yeah. Um, but I'll go Jesse McCarthy. Is it Jesse McCarthy? <laughs> Incorrect. Headhunters? Nothing. Gonna pass. Okay, the correct answer? Yeah. Olivia Wilde. Okay. Didn't know that. No, I did not know that. But you did know the other two, so £150 added to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Stuart, you're at last. What are you thinking? International cuisine. Give it a go. Really? Okay. International cuisine. <laughs> the name of which Mexican dish means yeah. toasted? Tostado. OK, is it tostado? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> For 100, the name of which Mexican dish means yeah. seasoned with chilli? I have to pass. I really don't know. OK, pass. <laughs> Headhunters. Picante. Picante. Oh, it's incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct <laughs> answer. Yeah. Oh. Enchilada. No way. Yeah. Unbelievable. No one got that one right. For 150, the name of which Mexican dish means yeah. little donkey. <laughs> I, don't I, know the, ever... I know the drink mojito is, so I'm going to go with the mojito. Oh, I think the drink mojito is. A mojito? Yeah, I think. Okay. Mojito. <laughs> incorrect. Headhunters. Uh, burrito. Is it burrito? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> well done. £200 added to the pot. Congratulations. <laughs> Headhunters, after that round, today's total jackpot will be £2,800. <laughs> you can now decide how much of that cash you'd offer Jenny to join your team. Think about what she knows and you don't. Jenny, you have 10 seconds to state what you're looking for from that jackpot and why. Um, I think that I would be great for any team that's struggling, perhaps on TV drama, fashion, a bit on cuisine. Um, just don't expect me to help you out with cricket. <laughs> OK, fair enough. You've heard from the candidate. It's now time to lock in your offer for Jenny. Andrew, what would you like to offer? My first yeah. offer is uh, £600, Rob. Oh. I've, I've got quite a bit to play with compared to the other two. Yeah. So uh, I'm quite willing to go large for Jenny because she seems to have a good general knowledge and I do need somebody on my Yeah. Team. Victoria, what would you like to offer? Uh, I've gone for 600 It's 150% of what you put in and I've tried to be consistent. I think you'd be a great asset to our team. Wow, that's a strong offer there. OK, and Stuart? Uh, I put in 420. I can't work out a percentage, <laughs> and you're probably a five or more than my money. Yeah. <laughs> well, before you decide, um, Jenny, let's have a look at the previous candidate, Aaron's general knowledge score. 36%. Okay, Jenny, you've seen the offers, you've seen the stats. Where are you headed? Large part of me saying stick with the girls, but Andrew's wooing me a little bit with his with his cricket knowledge. Between Victoria and Andrew, it's time now for you to lock in your final bids. This is Andrew's last chance to secure himself a candidate. His offer needs to tempt Jenny to his team or he'll be playing the head-to-head -head round alone. With one team member each, will offers from headhunters Victoria or Stuart be enough to add one final candidate to their teams? OK, let's reveal your final bids for Jenny. 
750 from Victoria, 500 from Stuart and 900 from Andrew. Andrew has gone in here. That's <laughs> gone big. I'm on my own and I think it's a generational thing as well. I'm, I'm a generation or two above Jenny, so I just want to cover them areas. Yeah, and 750 from Victoria and then Stuart's up his as well. What are you thinking, Jenny? Who are you going to join? It's really tough because I think they've both got really good knowledge. Both teams have got really good knowledge. Um, but I think, yeah, I'll balance things out. I'll go join Andrew. OK, congratulations. You've decided to join Andrew's team for £900. Go and join your headhunter. <laughs> and just to complete all of our information on today's contestants, let's reveal Jenny's general knowledge score. Was she worth £900? <laughs> 61%. OK, so no further candidates will emerge from the pool. Better luck tomorrow. The Hunters have recruited their heads. It's now time for them to go head to head. <laughs> Headhunters, you've each got five lives. In this round, you will select another headhunter to face a category of your choice. For every incorrect answer, a life will be lost. Lose all five lives and you're out of the game, thrown back into the talent pool to try again tomorrow. The last hunter standing will go through to play for the cash. Andrew, you qualified first. Which category and which headhunter? Um, I'm going to chuck technology over at Stuart, please. Here we go. Technology. Here are your three questions. You have five lives. Which form of communication was called outdated and is to be phased out of the NHS by 2021? Email. Is it email? God. How far ahead are you? Email got already. <laughs> My nan's only just got it. Um, the correct answer was... Yes. Pager. I swear that was already gone, wasn't it? <laughs> Aaron, it's like a little box you used to have on your belt. <laughs> I've seen it in movies. <laughs> <laughs> wow, OK. So you lose a life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Unlucky. OK, next one. Which form of communication... Yes. ..was first sent in 1992 and read Merry Christmas? Text. Was it the first text? Yes. Well done, Stuart. <laughs> Next up, which form of communication was first demonstrated by Frederick Bakewell at the Great Exhibition of 1851? Telephone line. Telephone line. Is it telephone line? <laughs> the correct answer is? Yeah. Fax. OK, you lose another life, I'm afraid. Three lives remaining, but you do have the power. Which category and which headhunter? Uh, we'll throw cricket to the girls. OK, cricket to Victoria. Which cricketer yeah. made their boxing debut against Richard Dawson in November 2012? Freddie Flintoff. Is it Freddie Flintoff? Yes, correct. <laughs> Which cricketer played internationally for Australia in 1982 and South Africa in 1992? Uh, I'm going to say something like it. The name Castle comes to mind, but I think that's because someone else was mentioning he's annoying on the tennis chat. <sighs> <laughs> I literally don't know. Sorry. You have to pass? Yeah. Okay, pass <laughs> on that one. The correct answer was? Kepler Vessels. Oh, yeah, that guy. That guy. <laughs> OK. Um, you lose a life, I'm afraid. Which cricketer yeah. wrote the memoir Absolutely Foxed? That's how I feel about this question. Let's go with Alex Stewart. Alex Stewart? Is it Alex Stewart? <laughs> Incorrect. The correct answer was yeah. Graham Fowler. Foxy Fowler. Down to three lives, but you have the power. And which headhunter? Uh, we're going to say Andrew for royalty. Andrew with royalty. Three on royalty. Good luck. Which member of the British royal family was born at St Mary's Hospital in May 2015? We're going to have a guess at Princess Charlotte. Is it Princess Charlotte? Yes, well played. <laughs> Next one. Which member of the British royal family is called the Duchess of Rossay in Scotland? Perhaps I, I don't know. I'm going to have a stab at Princess Eugenie. Okay, is it Princess Eugenie? <laughs> Incorrect. The correct answer? No. The Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla Parker Bowles. Okay, you lose a life. <laughs> Next question: Which member of the British royal family no. 
married Angus Ogilvy in 1963. Was that Princess Margaret, Rob? OK. Princess Margaret. <laughs> Incorrect, I'm afraid. And the right answer is... <laughs> Princess Alexandra. You lose another life. <laughs> you have three lives, the same as the other headhunters, but you have the power. Which category and which headhunter? I'm going to go straight back to Stuart again. Sorry, Stuart. Sorry. Show me your knowledge of human anatomy, please. OK. Human anatomy. Which organ of the human body yeah. is surrounded by the pericardium? The heart. Is it the heart? It is. <laughs> Which organ of the human body yeah. has three sections called the duodenum, jejunum and ilium? Skin. Is it the skin? It's incorrect. The correct answer? The small intestine. <laughs> OK, you lose a life. Down to two lives. One more question in this round. Which organ of the human body yeah. is partly controlled by the ciliary muscle? Large intestine. You don't want left, yeah. <laughs> large intestine. Is it the large intestine? <laughs> it's incorrect. The correct answer? Yeah. The eye. So you lose another life. You have one life remaining, but you have the power. Which category and which headhunter? Um, we'll go with Andrew, please. Chart music. Chart music for Andrew. Which act yeah. had a single at UK number one for 13 consecutive weeks in 2017? Don't have no idea. I don't know. That's a guess. Justin Bieber. OK. Is it Justin Bieber? Incorrect. The correct answer? Yeah. Ed Sheeran. You lose a life. Which act yeah. was top of the singles chart on the 1st of January 2000? We're going to have a guess at Prince. And was it Prince? <laughs> Incorrect. The correct answer? Yeah. Westlife. <sighs> you lose another life. This is your final life. If you get this question wrong, you'll be out of the game. Which act yeah. had the first ever number one on the UK singles chart in 1952? I just, I just can't remember it. I'll, I'll have to have a guess at the Kinks. OK, to stay in the game, was it the Kinks? <laughs> Too early. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct answer? No. Yeah. Al Martino. So you lose your right. final life, I'm afraid. Your game is up, but, Jenny, you might get one last chance at the end of this round. <laughs> it's now down to Stuart and Victoria. Stuart, for knocking out Andrew, you still have the power. <laughs> Which category would you like to pick for Victoria? Fashion. OK, here we go, fashion. Come on, we can do this. Three lives remaining, three questions. Good luck, Victoria. <laughs> Which fashion designer yeah. wrote the 1954 book The Little Dictionary of Fashion? Could be a Dior. Doesn't really seem like a huge one. Can I just take a random guess at Mary Quant? Is it Mary Quant? <laughs> incorrect. The correct answer. What was your first instinct? Oh, <laughs> oh it's such a shame. <laughs> you lose a life. Two lives remaining, two questions left. Which fashion designer yeah. proposed to their partner, Char Di Francesco, by flash mob in 2018? Uh, Michael Kors. Is it Michael Kors? <laughs> Incorrect, the correct answer. Yeah. Mark Jacobs. Right, come on. Another life lost, <laughs> one question left. One life left. Which fashion designer yeah. is the first American designer to receive an honorary knighthood? Oh. This to stay in the game. Cause. <laughs> keep getting the same. Sir Michael Cause. <laughs> Cause it is. <laughs> um, we're going to just guess uh, Michael Cause. <laughs> is it Michael Cause? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct answer. Yeah. Ralph Lauren. You lose your final <laughs> life. 
Victoria, the game is up for you today. <laughs> Victoria and Andrew, as losing headhunters, you'll both be returning to the talent pool, but losing candidates Anna and Jenny, you have one last opportunity to go through to the final round today. Stuart, for knocking out the other two headhunters, you can now recruit any of their candidates for the price on their head. Would you like Anna to join you for £400? Yes, please. Would you like Jenny to join you for 900 No, thank you. So, the new boys did it. Anna, you're going to be joining them and you'll be playing for the jackpot. Everyone else, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Stuart, you have successfully seen off your challenges. Now it's time to try and seal the deal. OK, Stuart, Aaron and Anna to win today's jackpot, which stands at £2,800. You now have 90 seconds to answer one question correctly from each category on that board. Yeah. It's time to seal the deal. Here we go. Your time starts now. Cricket, who was appointed captain of the England men's test cricket team in February 2017? Joe Root. Correct. Mythology, usually depicted with two faces, who was the Roman god of doorways? Janus. Janus. Correct. Chart music, which supergroup had a UK number one in 2012 with Don't You Worry Child? Pass. Swedish House Mafia. International cuisine, which cheese takes its name from the Italian for sweet milk? Don't you latte. Correct. TV drama, Killian Murphy plays gangster Tommy Shelby in which TV series? Peaky Blinders. Correct. Human anatomy, the Terry's major and the Terry's minor, a muscle surrounding which joint? Elbow. Incorrect shoulders. Fashion. Which designer known as the Princess of Punk founded London's Fashion Textile Museum? Vivian Westwood. Incorrect. Zandra Rose. Technology. Which wireless technology is named after a 10th century Danish king? Bluetooth. Correct. Royalty. Which 18th century monarch is the longest reigning British king? George IV. Incorrect. George III. Chart music. What is the title of the first UK number one single by Christina Aguilera? Genie in a Bottle. Correct. Human anatomy, what is the medical name for the tubular structure known as the voice box? Trachea. Larynx. Fashion, what style of wide tie is named in honour of the menswear designer Michael Fish? Pass. Kipper tie. Royalty, in 2008, which grandchild of Elizabeth II married Autumn Kelly? Peter Phillips. Correct. Human anatomy, what is the name given to the Oh. I was so close. Unlucky, guys. <laughs> well played, but not enough. I'm sorry you ran out of time, so nobody wins today. But the good news is the jackpot will roll over and you can all return to the talent pool to try and win it tomorrow. Join us then where there'll be more scores to be settled and big money to be won. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>